I'm joined now by Arizona Republican Senator John McCain. He is the chairman of the Armed Services Committee. Uh, Senator, good morning to you. Very good to have you here this morning. Thank you, Martha. All right, so obviously it's a big moment. We see the Secretary of State walking into the room uh, right now. Big moment for Ash Carter as well. We'll hear from him for the first time, really, on his thoughts on how this battle should be won. What do you expect to be sort of the main line of questioning from the Senate committee this morning for these gentlemen? I think part of it will be the authorization, the use of military force, and questioning from our side why the President of the United States should restrict the ability of the commander-in-chief to exercise whatever military options necessary to succeed. In other areas, it may be the shortest hearing in history if the question is what is the strategy to defeat ISIS, because there is none. Uh, General Dempsey is just back from Iraq observing the Iranian-backed uh, Shia militia with the head of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard, Soleimani, uh, orchestrating the attack on Tikrit. This is the same guy that sent in thousands of copper-tipped IEDs into Iraq uh, while we were fighting there and killed hundreds of American soldiers and Marines. I mean, it's, it, it's, it's bizarre. And so uh, I'm, I'm afraid that you will hear very little uh, from them in the way of a strategy to defeat ISIS. It's extraordinary because the president himself said that uh, his mission was to degrade and to ultimately destroy ISIS. And now it feels, as you point out, Senator, that at least in the battle in Tikrit, uh, we have stepped out of that role and Iran has clearly stepped into that role. And Iran is in four capitals, Sana'a and Yemen, uh, Baghdad, uh, um, Beirut, uh, and, uh, of course, Damascus. They are in, in majority control in all four of those countries. They're on the move, and we have this delusion somehow that a nuclear agreement will somehow not only restrain their activities, but re renew some alliance, uh, give birth to some kind of alliance between us. This is why our Arab friends, uh, led by Saudi Arabia, are deciding to go their own way yeah. and develop their own strategies. And, and they're uh, having, you know, fairly good discussions with Israel, uh, with Egypt, and it, it appears that the United States is left out of that equation. Um, I'm interested in uh, what Martha, I, I, could I just Could I just mention, I had the foreign minister of one of the Gulf countries tell me that it's uh, far, and a group of other senators, it, it seems it's far better to be an enemy of the United States than a friend. That's a stunning uh, statement. And I know that one of your concerns as well is um, how much money we have to fight the fights that now exist in so many parts of the world, uh, and that you have a big concern about the restraints that have been placed on that. Well, uh, yes, and, uh, and our activities. But also, I just want to say that I'm afraid that a Republican-dominated Congress is going to stick to sequestration. Our service chiefs, our uniformed service chiefs, have said that that would put the lives of American young men and women in uniform in greater, at greater risk. That is unacceptable. I hope that my Republican colleagues will understand what sequestration has done. They will understand how the world has changed since sequestration began. And uh, we cannot, we Republicans, I'm a proud Republican, cannot propose a lower spending level on defense than the President of the United States is and have any credibility on national security. Duly noted. Uh, General Martin Dempsey at one point said that he would have to reserve the right to ask the president to put uh, our troops on the ground to fight ISIS if he felt that that was what was necessary. We know that a, a preponderance of military officials and generals believe that if you don't have that possibility to put people on the ground to fight ISIS, that you won't win, that you won't degrade or defeat ISIS. Do you agree? Oh, of course. Uh, General Dempsey is, uh, is the most disappointing chairman of the Joint Chiefs that I have seen, and I have seen uh, many of them. He says he may uh, request that. He has supported uh, the plan to completely withdraw from Afghanistan. He has, he has basically been the echo chamber for the president, and one of the reasons why we are in the situation that we're in in the world today, and particularly in the Middle East, is because of his lack of either knowledge or candor about the situation in the Middle East, and it has done great damage. And so all I can say is that uh, he only has eight more months.
Wow. Very strong statement uh, about the standing chairman of the Joint Chiefs and his ability to do his job. You have uh, Ash Carter, the new defense secretary, who's about to speak here as well. I mean, the major question is here, uh, are we going to beat ISIS, who we have just seen, you know, training 12-year-olds or younger to murder people uh, at gunpoint and the horrific images that we see coming out of this that we, we can tell in polls the American people are becoming more and more incensed about and whether or not we're going to fight this battle essentially with, with one hand tied behind our back or we're going to let Iran go in and win it for us. Uh, some might say, you know what, let's stay out of it. Let, let's let Iran, let's let the Shiites and the Sunnis duke this out and let's have no part. Yes, except for the fact that ISIS is dedicated to attacking the United States of America. And when, when Baghdadi, the leader of ISIS, left Camp Bukha, our prison camp in Iraq, he said, I'll see you in New York. The head of British intelligence has said they're a direct threat. All uh, intelligence indicates that uh, their ultimate goal is to strike the United States of America. They can't destroy us, but there's no doubt that they are a direct threat, and that's the view of uh, the head of British intelligence, the head of the FBI, the head of the CIA, and others. So to think that somehow this all is going to be immune from any uh, attacks or threats to the United States of America is sheer foolishness. All right. Senator, we'll be watching this hearing, uh, as I know you will as well. It's always good to have you with us. We'll speak with you soon, I hope. Many thanks. Thank you, Martha. As this hearing